So you want to get Power BI but not really sure which option to go for? In this video, I'm going to compare the three options of Power BI, Power BI Free, Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium. Apart from the free, pro and premium, Power BI also has a per capacity or on-premises option which is quite a bit more expensive and used in very special situations. So I'm not going to talk about the per capacity or on-premises option in this video, but we will look at these three options. Let's start talking with the free Power BI option. The free Power BI option is excellent if you want to learn how to use Power BI or you want to have a play with it in your own computer or in a shared network where everybody wants to see the same thing. The free option has several limitations, the biggest of which is whatever files or data analysis you create will only stay on your computer. You cannot share or collaborate or create a report and publish it so other people can view it. So in that sense, the free option is just good for learning and practicing the concepts, but not really useful in any real world business situations. So that is where the two other options come into picture. Pro and Premium Power BI. Both of these options, Pro and Premium, are currently offered as a monthly subscription service by Microsoft. How much is that? 960. What it means is every month you would pay a fixed amount of money to access the Pro or the Premium features of Power BI. So which one should you go for? I'll give you my example. Currently, I am using Power BI Pro uh, and I pay about 10 US dollars per month for accessing this service. For me, because I operate Power BI primarily for learning Power BI as well as teaching Power BI and doing occasional consulting work for Power BI, in all those situations, whatever I do, the primary user and consumer is me. Hey, I emailed you the Power BI report you asked for. Yeah, thanks, Ben. And whoever has the Pro license, they can create the Power BI outputs or they can share them so that other users can also see these things. The Premium, on the other hand, kind of works exactly like Pro. With Premium, you can get additional features such as paginated reports, advanced artificial intelligence analysis such as you know analyzing the text data or image recognition and optical character recognition that kind of stuff and you can also use data flows and data marks so usually premium is applicable if you are connecting to live data streams and then you know want to connect that data into your reports for doing data analysis so this is how the two paid options are defined usually uh, with the current pricing on Microsoft website premium is twice as much as pro license so pro is about $9.99 per month and premium is $20 per month uh, but as I said I currently just use the pro license because I don't need uh, some of the artificial intelligence or um, data flow type of a scenarios for most of what I do and if I do need those things chances are these are for a client or a customer and in that case I would get a premium account on their domain and then just do the work for them so I personally don't need to hold that now let's back it up and put yourself in the front and ask what license is good for you If you are a student or a learner or you are just an individual in your home or workplace and just want to understand what Power BI is all about and how to get into this world, then just use the Power BI free desktop software, download it for free, install it on your computer and get started, learn the whole thing. You will be able to understand all the components of Power BI, that is how to use Power Query for bringing the data and doing ETL or data manipulation, how to build measures and calculations through Power Pivot and how to create visuals in the Power BI. The only things that you will not be able to use or experience are what happens when you are ready to share this information, how the publishing side of things works, how the security, governance and all of those side of things work. But normally when you are learning, you don't need to worry about that. You will need to know this 
once you go and implement it now if you are a small business person or a consultant or a very small organization maybe up to 20 50 people and only a handful of you need to use power bi for doing reporting or data analysis work then using the pro license is sufficient for you you will just pay for example let's just take a 20 person organization and maybe three of you need to use power bi for doing your data analysis so for each of you you would get a pro license which will be 30 dollars per month altogether and then you can use that to do all your analysis create the reports and share among yourselves you will not be able to publish anything outside of your three because if whatever you create you can only share it with the other two but that's probably good enough maybe you can give uh, get an extra license for the chief executive or whoever else need to read the reports and that should be sufficient on the other hand if you are a large organization uh, and you have got quite a few people who need to be using power bi then either premium or the per capacity licenses are good options for you the premium licensing is quite a bit more expensive but it gives you more flexibility to choose different roles and you know fix the access levels based on that and pay different fees so those are the three options pro premium and free option get the free option if you're a student get the pro option if you are a uh, consultant or you are a small business then pro is good for you and the premium option is for you if you are in a larger organization or you need to use some of these advanced features such as the AI um, data analytics tools or the data marts data flows and um, you know ability to store more data because with the pro premium capacity you also get the ability to build larger models and have more data stored and processed and have multiple re refreshes happening on your data on daily basis and all of that so those are the things i'll put a link to the official microsoft website in the video description feel free to check that out that has the feature comparison as well and if you have got any questions on which option is good for you or if you have got any additional feedback or suggestions feel free to put that in the comments as well so that all of us can benefit i wish you all the best with your power bi journey and if you want to learn a little bit more about the power bi itself like how to use power bi for your day-to-day -day work then check out this video that is shown on the screen i'll catch you there bye bye